Good Morning text out says they do, and they say that because it's community input that led to some of those changes to the I-35 Central Project proposal. That includes lowering the main lanes, removing the decks, winding east-west connections, and enhancing frontage roads. Out of the 200 miles they have finished, 50 of those account for protected bike lanes like these right here on Manor Road. That red line expansion that kicks off today will add more tracks, which Cat Metro says will increase capacity. When it comes to the 100 mile trail, that is set to be complete by 2036. You know, I feel like that gives us enough time to start prepping and training <laughs> so we can complete yeah. that 100 Girl, You're going to have to pull me. It already kicked off. Sally Screppy Judd is up first behind the mic here. And for the second year in a row, because of COVID-19, Ham Day is virtual, but that is not stopping organizers for aiming for a million dollars to help provide that health care for musicians, musicians like Alejandro Rios. Florida native Alejandro Rios remembers the moment he fell in love with Austin. And I saw the city slogan, keep Austin weird. I was like, that's it. The city's for me. For the last seven years, the musician has called the live music capital of the world home, performing in several bands, including Black Odyssey. And before the pandemic hit, things were going well. We were supposed to be having tours and stuff, so we kind of got shafted a lot. But a silver lining in the midst of shut down music venues and canceled tours. I had a very, very important surgery happen. Um, I had a condition known as Chiari malformation, where essentially, long story short, my skull was too small for my brain. That created a massive cyst along his spine. One that doctors say if gone untreated could have ruptured and paralyzed the 27 year old musician. Rio says the pandemic forced him to slow down and take care of himself. I was I was just finally able to take care of that surgery because the pandemic hit. And Rio says he couldn't have done it without ham. I was able to be completely subsidized like all of all of my costs and I was just like this is insanely beautiful like you know what I mean I'm just very blessed and I'm glad that I live in Austin where you know musicians are really cared for so it's it's just a huge blessing And the guitar you saw there is signed by the musicians that will be performing today as part of Ham Day. We're talking more than a hundred of those performers. It is part of their silent auction to raise funds. So this event will be streamed online all day on Facebook. We'll have a link to that posted on our website. But then starting tonight at 7, you can watch it on KBBO. Guys, back to you.